Chuckers. What? We're gonna draw the toughest. Yeah. Meanest. Yeah. Viking. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. 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 Alright dude, you got your marker. Yeah! <laughs> We're really excited to do this one. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. We got a we got a Sharpie, right? Yeah. And our art friends can use a Sharpie or a marker or anything to draw with, right? Yeah. Yes. And we also got eight and a half by eleven piece of paper just from our printer, right? Mm -hmm. And we got two sheets because we don't want it to go through to our table. Yeah. You ready to start drawing this Viking? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, first step, we're going to draw his helmet, and helmets on Vikings were usually pointy. At least, <laughs> that's what I've seen. <laughs> so we're going to draw a V, an upside-down V, right towards the top of our paper, but in the middle of our paper that comes out. Both sides, it's curved, comes down like that. I'm not going to talk like a Viking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kate. Okay. Let's do let's do it. the bottom of his helmet, and we're gonna do a curve that comes all the way across and out the outside of his helmet it because looks we're like gonna. A <laughs> <laughs> we are not drawing a sombrero. <laughs> we're drawing a Viking helmet. <laughs> so this is gonna this is coming out uh, further. So <laughs> boy, it looks like a sombrero. <laughs> we're. <laughs> We're gonna draw the horns, all right? Okay, the horns are next. We're gonna we're gonna draw a line that comes down and curves back into that line on both sides, okay? It's a sombrero that can't fit in the paper. <laughs> and then you put some guacamole on the top of that thing. All right, okay, good job. Now let's draw the rest of the horn on this side. And we'll do the same on this side. Look, it's a pointy chip right there. <laughs> nice. Good job. Okay, now on the bottom of his helmet, let's draw another line here. And then we're going to draw another line here for the horns, contour line. And if you draw it curved, out like that then it makes the horns look like they're curved too right okay mm -hmm. now in this part let's draw some circles it look like this is part of the armor nice okay <laughs> let's start drawing his face so we're gonna draw some bushy eyebrows under his helmet like this <laughs> this is not a witch. <laughs> Actually, before we do that, you know what we should have done his nose. Let's draw his nose in there first. And we'll come up with an upside down U shape. And the reason why was because then we could overlap and do his eyebrows behind it. But that's all right. Good job. He's going to look so awesome. Okay, now let's finish his nose. So we're going to do a C on this side, and then we'll come down on this side, and then draw C on that side. So for his nostrils. Good job. It's now, a hammer. Yeah, oh. it does. Oh. <laughs> now let's draw his eyes on both sides, and then we'll draw. Good. I like how big you drew those eyes. Then let's draw another one inside of that. Okay, and then we can do a little circle on both sides and then color in everything except for that little circle. You know what? I want to color that whole thing in. We're going to put the highlight in after. That looks scary, huh? <laughs> my other arm. See how mine looks like with 
the dark. <laughs> he looks like he's possessed. <laughs> I put the we just because we put the circle right in the middle. We yeah. put it off to the side for the for the. <laughs> yeah, he looks evil now, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's keep going. So we're now we're gonna do his ears. We're gonna do a C on this side. We're gonna do a little line that comes down on both sides, and then do a C that connects it. Good. Now we can do a line there, a line here. All right. Should we do his beard next? Yeah. Hey, so we're going to do a zigzag line that comes around. All the way around for his beard. No, oh, that looks so awesome. I like yours. Okay, and then we could do a zigzag line here for his mouth. And then let's connect his ears to his beard. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we're going to do some fur on his shoulder, but it's going to look the same as his beard, all right? He has beard he has on his shoulder. Beard on his shoulder. Hairy shoulder. Hairy shoulders, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hair armpits. His armpits are oh, really hairy. Gross. There's the hair coming out of his ear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gross. <laughs> so I'm going to do it on this side, too. <laughs> You're disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> nice job, bro. Okay, now let's get a shield in there. So we're going to do a big oval or circle right here good okay i'm gonna draw a circle inside this one but do yours on the outside of yours so that your shield gets a little bit bigger i'm trying to draw this circle so that it's so that the spacing between the between this line and this line are the same around the whole thing yeah, I only got that. <laughs> That's all right. All right, Kate. Okay, now let's do some lines this way, diagonally across the shield. My hand was right there, and then like they had a sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do his arm that's coming down out of his shoulder and hanging on to the shield. So we're going to do one line coming down there and another line over here. Good. Okay, now let's draw his other arm. And this one's going to be holding a, a uh, axe or a hatchet. <laughs> so it's coming down like this. We're going to draw another line that's right here. This one's coming down a little further. So see how this one's longer? Mm -hmm. Good. <clears throat> then this is going to come under... And almost, let's bring it further out and then back up. Then we're going to bring this one over that to match, but leave a gap in between. There you go. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw a sideways U or a C. And this is because he's going to be holding the hatchet right here. Okay, and then let's bring lines out. Okay, and then we'll come back over here and draw the hatchet that's coming out on the back side of this hand. So he's hanging on to the handle. All right, let's draw the hatchet head. So we're gonna draw a curved line like that. Curved line over here. Good, and then a curve, a really curved line there, and then a straight one on this side. Good. Okay, then we can put another curved line, another one right What's there. This part's red, and that part's silver. Okay, I <laughs> like it. Then let's put some contour lines right here for the, so it looks like the handle is wrapped. Nice. Okay, let's put his body on there. So we're going to do side of his body here. 
And then we can draw another one on this side and going into the shield. And then we're going to imagine it coming through here. And if it's different for our art friends, they can adjust it the way they need to. But this is going to be his waist, his waistline right there. Good. Okay, I'm going to put a buckle for his belt right in the middle. And if your hatchet is or axe is covering it up, you can just draw as much as you need to or as much as you can. And then I put another line in there for the buckle. Okay, let's do his belt. Good. Okay, and then we'll draw the rest of his the rest of his clothes that come down and cover up his legs. Like that. So you could draw two lines that come down and then connect it. That's probably what I should have done. Then they would have been the same length. You're running out of room. We could extend your paper if we want. But we're just going to put little feet down here. So we'll do one line here, a longer line here. We'll do that same long line on this side and then a short line over here. Yeah, I think I want. You want to extend it? Yeah, okay, we got your paper extended because your Viking's a little taller than mine, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna so we got these two lines. So we got two lines in the middle that are longer than the two lines on the outside. You got that? Good. Yep. And then the outside one. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw his feet. We'll draw that. Down on the bottom of his foot. Good. Now I'm going to do a little X right here. So it looks like his boots are tied on. Okay, let's give him some hairy arms. So I'm going to draw some straight lines come out and then do the same on this side now he looks like a Viking all right I'm gonna put a little design on this on the bottom of his clothes right here it's like the top of a castle almost mm -hmm. good dude he looks so awesome you did such a great job I love it. I love how yours looks taller. They look like they could be brothers. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to color them? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right, dude, we got our colors all picked out. We're going to use Pentel oil pastels, and we'll leave a description in this video to where our art friends can purchase them on Amazon, right? Yep. Yes. So we got a dark green, silver, a pale orange. This is called pale orange. It doesn't really seem like pale orange. A light brown. We got also a dark brown, a red, and a gold color. We're gonna color the whole thing in solid and then we'll do the shading after. Okay. Ready? Yes. Should we speed it up? Yes. Right, right now. now. <laughs> all right, dude, we got them all colored in. You ready to do some shading? Yeah. Okay, let's start with his face. So I'm going to use the light brown that we were using on his shield and, and his boots. And I'm going to just do a light outside, kind of right around his nose. And then we're going to go back in and blend it in with the uh, same color as his face. Okay, so when we're, we can use that same color to go back over and blend it in so it just looks like uh, it's smoothed out. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite things. It's always been with oil pastels. You can blend, you can smooth things out. It looks, makes it look really, really cool when you're shading. Okay, now I'm going to put a little shading under his helmet too. 
and then also blend that back with the same color. And then we can go back to his arms and do the same there, put a little shadow underneath the fur that's on his shoulders. And then I'm gonna also shade down the left side of this arm, okay? And then we'll do the same on this side, but the right side of it so that it's close to his body and underneath the fur too. And then blend that with the same color. Then I'm gonna take the light brown again and come under his knuckles right here and shade the bottom side of his hand and then blend that back. Cool, man, he looks awesome. All right, now let's go, let's come back up and let's do his helmet. Okay, so we got a dark gray and we're gonna come over here and do just a small kind of pie shape. What was a pie shape that goes up his helmet on this side? And then I'm going to do the same on this side. See how it's thicker down at the bottom and then it gets pointier up at the top. And then we'll come back with that same, the same color that we used for the first layer and then smooth it out. All right, now let's get our light brown and we're going to do some shading under the horn, right? Like this. So it's just gonna fade out as we get to the top, but we're gonna put a small little edge of brown right there. So we're gonna get the same yellow that we used for the horn and, and originally, and then go back over just like we did everything else and then smooth that out. Dude, doesn't that look, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks awesome. And then you can also do the same on this little gold band we did right here. So now we're going to do the same on the other side. Dude, he looks really cool. Don't those horns look a lot more 3D now? Yeah. Yeah, they sure do. Okay, now let's shade his shoulder fur, his shoulder, hairy shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use a little black, and we're going to come down here, and we'll just do a little, a small little zigzag right here at the bottom. So you're gonna follow the same zigzag that we drew on there originally, okay? And then we'll do the same over here and just go up and we're just gonna put this on the bottom side of his shoulders and then we can get the, the same brown that we put down before and just shade or blend the top edge of that zigzag. All right, now let's do a shield. So I'm gonna do a, a little secret, man. Hey, so we got these little, this is made out of wood, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do the top edge, or sorry, the bottom edge of this first one with this dark brown, okay? And hopefully I can see this on, on the um, camera. Now I'm gonna get the white and I'm gonna do the top edge below it, the bottom edge, and it's gonna look like there's a part there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is the shadow of the gap, and then this is the highlight on the edge below it. That. We'll do another one. That. And this one. Does that look cool? Yeah. No, it looks a lot more 3D. Mm -hmm. Now let's do his handle on the axe, and so we're going to use that dark brown again. We'll come back over here, and we'll just put a dark edge on the bottom and then we'll use the white again to do a little edge on the top okay now let's do the shadow under his beard so we've got the black and i'm going to do a zigzag underneath his beard almost just like what we did up here on his shoulder do a zigzag across the whole thing and then i'm also going to do i have a dark uh, edge on the top of his belt. Then I'll get that dark green and we're going to blend that all, all in. So just that bottom edge of the zigzag so it blends in and then a little bit of that belt. Good! Okay, now let's do a shadow. So get the dark brown and we're going to do a shadow under here on his boots. So we'll do it right under his clothes and then also the inside of his boot and the same on this side. 
And then we can get that white and we'll put a little highlight on his boot, top of his boot right here. And then I put a highlight on the ax. All right, dude, we're almost done. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna leave his beard gray or white, but we're gonna do some shading on it. So I'm gonna take the light gray and just do a zigzag, similar to the same zigzag that we did on his shoulders. Go all the way around. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white, but we wanna make sure that we get all of the, the um, colors that are on the white because we've been using it for blending. So we got a scratch piece of paper here off to the side and you can get all of those extra colors that are still in there because we don't want to get brown or yellow or red mixed in with his beard, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to zigzag back over the gray that we just did. Okay, last step. I got the light blue and I'm just putting a little edge on the outside of his pupils. So it looks like he's got blue eyes. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Dude, he looks so awesome, man. Did you have fun? Yeah. That is one tough Viking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I had a lot of fun drawing this with you. I think it's really cool that our Vikings look different. Mm -hmm. he, they look like they're brothers, huh? Yeah. They look like they're twin brothers. Yeah. Yours is a little taller than mine. Mine's yeah. a little shorter. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your Vikings with us. And we want to see how they turn out, don't we? Yeah. 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 <laughs> where, if they take a photo, where should they email it? My art at art for kids Yeah, my art at art for kids And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye, art friends. Bye. 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 Bye.